Most of the great educational institutions in the world were founded on a spiritual basis. And in the modern age, they have tended to give up that part of the educational experience they offer their students. Is that a good thing? Well, let me ask you, do you feel like you would want to be prepared to have a good relationship in your life? Would you want to be prepared to be a good parent? Would you want to be prepared to find happiness and satisfaction throughout the course of your life? Or is it adequate to just be an economic uh, cog in a big machine? That's the difference between a balanced education and a secular education. A balanced education helps a person understand what is their inner identity, what is the means to be happy under any circumstances in life, to value what is called the fruits of the Spirit, patience, humility, tolerance, giving love to other people. These are things that make life worthwhile. If all we have to show for our education is the ability to earn money, to pay back the money we borrow to get the education, is that a fulfilling life for a human being? So the answer to this question is obviously yes, but unfortunately it is not part of the curriculum offered in most universities. I have a friend who is a psychology major. After two years of studying, he went to the professor and said, I'm learning the information, but I'm not sure if it's true. And the professor very candidly answered, where in our contract did it say it was true? We are teaching you what you need to know to earn a living in this field. So that young man said it really wasn't what he wanted to do, simply to earn a living. So he went off pursuing understanding and knowledge through other studies. So my point is that is an intelligent decision. It's not necessary to give up the secular education to give up the economic development in order to develop spirituality. That's a red herring argument to say you can only have one or the other. But one has to make a decision at some point whether spirituality is going to be an important part of one's life. And if so, how will you gain that spirituality? Is it something you can do on your own? For that again I would say no. What department of knowledge do you have in the university that you can learn without education from an experienced practitioner? You could read all the books in the world on brain surgery, but would you be ready to do an operation? Clearly you need to study under someone who has experience and knows what they're doing and knows what they're talking about. So that is also true in spirituality. That is the, one of the great offerings of the Hare Krishna movement. Our purpose is to give people that spiritual education, not to become missionaries, not to dramatically change their lives, but to meaningfully change their lives so that what they are pursuing in their vocational and educational and career pursuits has real meaning and real satisfaction. So to allow them to experience their education and their career in a way that makes them well-rounded human beings and not simply economic units.